Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hazwani Atirah binti Abdul Halim And my teammate is Nur Anirah binti Abdul Sham Nur Shamimi binti Idris Ainin Sofia binti Abdul Mutalib Muhammad Firdaus Ismail bin Muhammad Mota And lastly is Nur Shamimi binti Abdul Halim We are doing a proposal report on convenient vending machine in Unimap and today I will present about the introduction and the management of this proposal. For the introduction, food is an essential element of our daily life. A student must obtain adequate nutrition to continue learning. However, due to the lack of transportation from the college and also to the time travel for the field, students are more likely to end up hungry and this will result to less focus on learning. Food and eating in college have most often have been told of the practical parts of the day. As distraction and for education is essential, as lacking incentive to study and even as an adjective to ridicule rather than a serious concern. Yet, there are good reasons why scholars of education should consider food and food practice. This report is based on the survey which is carried out at University of Malaysia Perlis, which is UNIMAP. And this report contains the objective of the survey, survey methodologies, and statistical analysis of the survey data and then conclusion of the survey. To carry out of the survey, a questionnaire was prepared to measure the requirement of the convenient machine. The sample size of the research, which is 51, and the respondents are is student in Unimap. In the questionnaire, the questions are included satisfaction level of respondent towards facilities, student opinion, problem they're facing and also suggestion about the service. Three main problem have been identified before providing the service. Difficulty for student and staff obtaining food and drinks at the lecture hall and residential college is one of the major problem. Other than that, the price that have been charged for the food is not suitable for student. From the aspect of facilities and logistics, proper transportation service were not provided to student to find food during their breaks. Therefore, putting the machine in the lecture hall as well as residential college can reduce the difficulties of obtaining food and drinks. The machine provides students with food and, be and beverage sorry, service at the affordable price and one of the advantage of the machine is that it can pay without cash. The problem makes students easy in time of emergency is when money machine away from them. The service will provide snacks, snack, <laughs> sorry, such as bread, energy dream to keep the focus of the focus on the classroom as well as sweets cookies and more the student also can avoid critical disease which is which is gastric in the morning due to not talking taking the breakfast before attending class and this machine provides the perfect breakfast for food for student Although all the cafes in the hall, the food provide does not enough for the number of students there and at not in affordable price. Also, in residential college, most students love to stay up late to finish the assignments and problem occur when students are starving in the middle of the night and no nearby convenience shop or even cafe are upon, uh, open. Other than that, it also difficult for students that does not own any transportation to find food outside of the college. For security reason, students are not allowed out of the residential college after midnight. 
and students cannot go out to buy food. Therefore, putting this machine in this residential college can help students in the middle of the night to find the food. And this proposal report is intent to look into the problem as well as the response of some resolution to the student food problem by providing this convenient machine. Assalamualaikum. Again, my name is Hazwani Atira binti Abdul Halim. And this time I will explain about the management of this proposal. University of Malaysia Perlis, which is UNIMAP, UNIMAP should strive to raise awareness of student needs through a wide various way. To provide students with conducive facility, very of basic are provided by the university. Therefore, to fulfill all the needs and comfort of the student to study comfortably, the vending machine should be provided at every location of the college resident, residential in UNIMAP. These are all effective in raising awareness of the service therefore the start, before the start. Especially for students who are hungry at late at night and students who do not regularly to go to cafeteria or canteen. UNIMAP's public policy department also take part to consider both access to and use of venues. In order to better inform policy, it is proposed that the development of UNIMAP Student Affairs Center to system, systematically collect and analyze data related to student facility frequently. An inventory of student facility will help UNIMAP, which is to develop a network of accessible, high quality open spaces and sports facilities which is meet public needs are fit for purpose and environment suitable. Next is determine an appropriate balance between new facilities and the enhancement of existing facilities. Financial department which is UNIMA administration and finance unit define responsible for Im implementing each activity and initiative cost for each activity. Finance units are responsible for the submit information on funding program and sponsor. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Masharin Binti Ibris. I'm from PBKSE. Today, I'm going to talk about methodology based on our research, which is convenient vending machine in Unimap. Okay, this research use uh, the survey to approach to collect information from random respondent. Okay, the most common variable of survey include questionnaire, interview, and analysis of document. Okay, only the form of questionnaire used uh, in this study considering the advantage offered to the participant of the example sample community carry me animals next it must uh, be considered cheaper than most other key knowledge processing method with the prospect of processing a large volume of information Okay, first sampling. Okay, our target, our target respondent was student of University Malaysia Place, which is from all residential college, which is from uh, Tongkut Tuku Abdul Rahman Bumita College Kediaman Pong Putra Bumita College Kediaman um, Tongkut Ahmad Badawi. Okay, um, participant student were required to answer all four section questionnaire through the sampling season of the survey using Google Form. Okay, this survey will distribute, distribute among UNIMAP, UNIMAP students and 50 and above respondents participate in this survey. Okay, as you can see, uh, figure 1.0 show respondents from three different resi residential college kediaman which is from Poh Putra Bumita, Tengku Abdul Rahman PF1 and Chongku Tengku Fauzia PF2. Okay, as you can see, the highest uh, responder who answered our survey is from Poh Putra Bumita, which is 62.7%, followed by the orange color, which is from Tengku Tengku Fauzia PF2, and the third one is a red color, which is 50.7%, which is Tengku 
Abdul Rahman F1. Okay, uh, as you can see in figure. Okay, figure 2.0 show the percentage year of students study participate in the survey according to their respective years, which is uh, the red color, the, the highest uh, survey respondent, which is 47.1%, which is year 2, followed by um, year 4, 23.5, and the third one is orange color, 17.5%, and the last one is the blue one, which is uh, got the least um, the list among the other year okay then followed by figure 3.0 which is show the male and female participant which is the blue color um, which is male and the red color is female okay the survey is the survey the participant who answer our survey which is um, male got uh, 56 point okay figure 3.0 show for female and male participant which is um respondent who answer our survey got the highest is a uh, male which is 56.9 percent okay the last one is figure 0.4 shows the level of study respondent according to the diploma degree and others okay as you can see there are four type which is a blue one diploma red one degree and yellow one master and the last one is phd and as you can see the our survey is um, just got just the survey who answer our questionnaire which is only uh, diploma and degree the other the other two which is master and phd there are no one who answer our questionnaire maybe because they doesn't got our questionnaire survey it's okay but you can see the red color is 95 uh, percent got the highest uh, who is the highest uh, responder who answer our survey is from degree and then, okay <coughs> Okay, uh, and the lastly for the question, uh, our questionnaire is uh, divide, divided into four sections, which is uh, section A, B, C, and D. Okay, there are 20 questions in the questionnaire are divided into four sections as follows. Question 1 is about general overview, which are reflect the respondent opinion who use the vending machine. Uh, section B is a problem, uh, which show the satisfactory level for the facilities and service available. And section C is a section about, about the solution which is indicating the respondent agreement for the suggested solution. And lastly, uh, section D is a demographic profile which is uh, indicate the gender, nationality, hostel, year and level of the layer of study level of study of the respondent. Okay, that's all. If you got any um, question, you can ask me. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Aileen Sophia Binti Abdul Muttalib and my message number is 1810912202. I'm from RK23. I'm here today to talk to you about the benefit and cost of the convenient vending machine in the Unimed. First of all, the benefit that we can conclude from the questionnaire are necessary for all people which is the convenient vending machine that can be used for lecturer, staff and student. It also available in many places in the university area such as in the faculty and the residency college. Second point, it is easy to use. It can save energy and save time for people to find any grocery outside the university area. Especially, students still can get food in the early morning and the late night when the cafe or shop are already closed. Third point, we provide snacks like milk and water. For example, snacks such as sweets and biscuit that can make them feel fresh and avoid them feel sleepy during the class. Like meals such as sandwich, nugget and sausage that can, that can eat before going to the class. And we also provide water that can make them keep hydrated. Another point is we can pay by using debit card and I think it is really convenient to all people because everybody has the debit card, right? So we don't have to worry if we don't have cash 
in the pocket or borrow from the friend because as we know Unime especially main campus only have two ATM and I think it is really hard for students that don't have transport to go to the ATM uh, Assalamualaikum, hi my name is Muhammad Fidur Ismail Hafiz bin Muhammad Mukta from RK33 uh, the topic that I will be presenting today is about the problem faced by UNIMED students who stayed at three different residential college, which are College Kediaman Pauputra, as known, uh, known as Bumita, College Kediaman Tuan Tunku Abdul Rahman PF1, and College Kediaman Tuan Ku Tunku Fauzah, known as PF2. Uh, as we all know, uh, vending machine is one of the alternative ways to for students to get food fast and cheap. This survey uh, about proposing a convenience vending machine in Unimap facilities. However, there are several problems seems uh, strongly agreed that can be found from the survey which we've been carried out. The first problem is student is having difficulty finding food late at night since the cafe was closed. Uh, from this survey, 52% respondents strongly agree that they have problem with difficulty finding food at late night. 38% uh, respondents have agreed with difficulty finding food at late night and the, the rest is uh, neutral. Next problem is uh, cafe provides limited choice of food. As we can see, most respondents with 44% uh, choose agree while 35% students choose strongly agree and turn 3% choose neutral. From the result, we can see that the cafe have limited choice of food. Other problem is cafe price are more more expensive. This bar chart show the cafe price are more expensive. Blue chart for strongly agree, red for agree, and orange chart for neutral, green chart for disagree, and last one purple chart for strongly disagree. As we can see, 34% respondent agree that the cafe price are more expensive, while 31% of students neutral, neutral and strongly agree, and the rest disagree and strongly disagree. In this survey, most of the students agree that cafe price are more expensive. All the data details uh, I have explained above can be found clearly in this bar chart that contain uh, all response among all 51 students that answered this survey. For the conclusion, uh, the survey that we have been done for 51 respondents which are student Unimap, which are students that study in Unimap, most of the respondents agree that uh, have variety problem with Unimap facilities which is vending machines. From the result, most of the respondents strongly agree that they uh, have difficulty finding food at late since at late night since the cafe was closed. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, thank you for thank you for giving me space to deliver my presentation about some of problem faced by us, uh, Unimed student. Uh, thank you. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Anira Abdusham. I am from RK23. My matrix number one eight one zero nine one three two nine. The chapter I will presenting today is solution. From our survey, the problem that we get from student was difficult to find food at night. So we have an idea to have a convenient vending machine that can provide uh, a variety of food. Here the solution based on problem that we need to solve. Firstly, operates 24 hours. Secondly, can make payments using cash and debit. Thirdly, have variety of food. Fourthly, have affordable food price for students. Next, during the class, students can bring and eat snacks. Lastly, purchase food via vending machine and no need to buy from outside college. For the result, discuss uh this uh, sorry, this graph show the result survey of solution convenient vending machine. There are five categories, such as strongly agree, agree neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. From the bar chart, majority of respondents ask operate 24 hours, which is 35 respondents choose strongly agree. After that, followed by 11 respondents feel agree, and the rest of them choose neutral. For the second solution is can make payment using cash and debit. 
35 respondent choose strongly agree, 12 respondent choose agree, 6 respondent choose neutral, and 2 respondent choose disagree. For the third solution is have variety of food. 32 respondent choose strongly agree, 14 respondent choose agree, 3 respondent choose neutral, 2 respondent choose disagree. <coughs> For the fourth, uh, respo uh, for the sorry, for the fourth solution is have f affordable food price for student. Thirty two, uh, respondent choose strongly agree. Fifteen, respondent choose agree. Three, respondent choose neutral, and the rest is choose disagree, which is two respondent. For the fifth um solution is during the class, students can bring and eat snacks. Majority of respondent choose strongly agree. Followed by eleven respondent choose agree. Then the rest of them choose neutral, which is five respondent. For the last solution is purchase food via vending machine and no need to buy from outside college. Thirty respondent choose strongly agree. Sixteen respondent choose agree. For respondent choose natural. Um, so for the conclusion is, we know that uh, students need the uh, convenient vending machine. Based on the uh, result, we know that uh, all of them choose strongly agree. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Shamini Binti Abdul Latif. I'm from RK23. My metric number 18109-1335. The topic that I want to present today uh, is the conclusion for our report on convenient vending machine in Unimed. We had done our research which focus on every details of convenient vending machine in Unimed. This vending machine provide variety of food, snacks and have affordable price. We also come out with some logical suggestion suggestion for management to fix required problems. Based on this research, it discovered through the survey that students Unimed were lack of access to food and snacks. In it, it is because Unimed don't have any convenient vending machine to sell food and snacks that using cash and debit cards. Students often complain that that are uh, is a lack of access to food and snacks during breaks between classes, at night and during the holiday. Students sometimes have no cash because there are no ATM in some hostel and lecture hall. Next, uh, major problem of major problem is students have trouble finding food and snack when the lecturer gives them breaks between classes and also students that hungry at night at residential college and need some something to eat after considering the factor of cost cost and management to carry out the solution this are best solution that can be implemented by the unimap is having convenient vending machine at lecture hall in each school and in a residential college that using cash and debit card to pay snacks and food. This this machine is convenient because students and staff do not have to worry if they do not have cash cash money and it can be paid by debit card in addition in addition uh, the mission also offers student and staff 
a wide selection of food such as bread, bread snacks, cookies and chocolate. This machine also takes, takes up less space than opening convenient then then opening a convenience store in every place. It also operate for 24 hours and will be refilled after five days. The student can make sure they have breakfast before class and can avoid unwanted diseases such as such as gastric. Another advantage is that we can use technology cashless in the Unimed campus by reducing the use of resale that this can reduce the production of carbon dioxide gas in a nutshell we are convinced we are convinced that if Unimed implement the proper solution because it gives a lot of benefits. Therefore, in the future, the student can more focus on their study without worry, worrying about their accommodations. That's all for me. Thank you.